If you're like me, you probably wonder, why hasn't there been a single Star Wars horror game? It's baffling really. Three decades and we've covered just about everything. RPGs, strategy games, even a droid building game. Everything but horror. However, just because there hasn't been a horror themed Star Wars game, doesn't mean there weren't any horror elements in the expansive library. That does beg the question then, what are the scariest Star Wars games ever made? Let's find out. Yes, this video is late. I wanted to get this out by Halloween, but real life work drop kicked me out of nowhere. Still, at least I think it's safe to say that no one else has made a video on this topic. Second, I have to admit though, I haven't played every single game in the LucasArts catalog. Though I'm pretty sure I've covered all the relevant ones. Unless something like Squadrons has paranormal activity in space. And unsurprisingly, what's scary to me doesn't apply to everyone else. Nostalgia might very much have a big factor in what I consider the scariest Star Wars games out there, but I'll try my best to argue why. Without further ado, let's count down the scariest Star Wars games ever made. Number 5. Knights of the Old Republic 2 Now, there's nothing scary about KOTOR 2 in the traditional sense. It's nothing that really made my heart race in terror or sent chills down my spine, but what KOTOR 2 has going for it is a haunting undertone that permeates the entire experience. What was a high fantasy adventure tone in the first game, with good versus evil and sweeping space opera vibes, now was this eerie, desolate, and haunting sequel. The recurring theme through the entire experience was that the galaxy never recovered from the war the first game resolved. In fact, the few planets you do revisit in the sequel are in ruins. Abandoned, the wildlife claiming these once populated locations, or worse, a power vacuum being filled by the bandits, mercenaries, or Sith remnants. But I still wouldn't say that KOTOR 2 was scary. The visuals come off a bit flat, including the lighting, which gives the game a very sterile look. Of course, the nature and style of your standard RPG doesn't really lend itself to this genre visually. Not to mention, the game definitely feels unfinished. Scenes like this feels like it's missing a lot of polish and decor, thus looking very empty. But you probably already know that KOTOR 2 was rushed, and a lot was cut out. In spite of the limitations, KOTOR 2 offers a low-key horror experience that complements the darker, deprived text of the game. You, you are the darkness in which all life dies, my lord. Number 4. Dark Forces Star Wars Dark Forces is often remembered for a notorious level. A notorious level that comes in super early into the campaign. A sewer level. And in that sewer level, you meet these little critters. Gaia Nogas, or Space Octopus basically. The same ones that pulled Luke on the water in Episode 4. They not only ambush you while in the sewer water, but the game also throws you at them in pitch darkness. You either need to rely on your flashlight, night vision, or your blastifier to illuminate the place. There's also the crate dragons that you literally have a punch out with. Yes, Kyle Katarn. Not only did he steal the Death Star plans in the EU, but he also discombobulated some crate dragons with his bare fists. It's also worth mentioning how Dark Troopers 
specifically the phase 1 design, come off like these mechanical monstrosities, marching up towards you like a terminator. Dark Forces earns its place at number 4. Number 3, Jedi Knight. This looks interesting. The sequel to Dark Forces upped the scares from the first game. And I blame Jedi Knight for making me terrified of ever going into a large body of water. The sequel just loves throwing you into these big pools, which not only look terrifying in scale, but also the stuff that lurks in them. You also got these weird looking jellyfish too, and the game does bring back crate dragons. You enter this pitch dark room, and inside, you see stormtroopers being strewn apart. And then... For a game that had a profound impact on my childhood fears of what lurks below, the game still creeps me out to this day in 2022. Number 2, Shadow of the Empire. Shadow of the Empire came out before Jedi Knights, but even with the rougher 3D tech, that early 3D roughness actually translates into some disturbing imagery. You got Wampas, these huge, lumbering giants with that classic, grotesque 3D texturing. Like, look at his face. Then you have IG-88. How can a bucket of bolts be scary? Well, there's something awfully disturbing how IG-88 moves. Like, it shouldn't move this fast and yet, it still throws me off seeing it in motion. And lastly, the final level gave us two nasty surprises. You got this sickly green, foul look to the sewers and in that mucky poo water are Dianogas again. But the absolute worst, most terrifying of all, comes later. Yeah, hello nightmare fuel. Not only did you have to shoot these tentacles with these barbed spikes sticking out, but this overgrown Dianoga also had these sharp teeth lined in its maw. Yeesh. It goes to show you how that early 3D roughness combined with the monster designs can translate into some really disturbing imagery. Number 1. Mysteries of the Sith Mysteries of the Sith is the scariest Star Wars game ever produced. While the prison section deserves honorable mention for the rundown, grimy decor and the subsequent fight with the Rancor, I knew I was gonna regret this. It's the final last act of the game that puts Mysteries of the Sith at first place. Towards the end of the game, you arrive on a Sith planet, a Sith swamp planet. Lightning flashing incessantly, beasts hiding around the corner, and this whole swamp segment is filled with these traps that suck you under, sometimes to your watery grave. You got Dianogas reappearing for the third time on this list, and the swamp section ends with this big stretch that has these weird shell tentacle things. Once again, 
These games are why I fear large bodies of water. The nightmare doesn't end there though, because the Sith Temple itself hides a lot of horrors too. You got Sith statues that come to life. These incredibly lethal feline beasts. These mutant homunculus assassins, which apparently are Nogri assassins. Then you get these reanimated corpses with this inhuman howl. But the MVP of the last section of the game has to be the temple itself. The whole Sith temple is dread inducing with this sinister dark tone to everything. It's truly twisted looking and for a game release in 1998, it's stunning how disturbing it is. I genuinely can't think of any game from this time period, given the limited hardware, that would compete with this. With the terrifying cast of creatures and the impeccable nightmare visual direction, this is why Mysteries of the Sith is my number one pick for the scariest Star Wars game ever released. I'm Sam Blips and happy belated Halloween everyone. Agree, disagree, let me know in the comments because again, I haven't played all the games and I'm really curious if you have a different list on your mind. With that said, I'd like to thank Nati and Farmer Dude for supporting me on Patreon. If you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate any support, whether liking the video, commenting on it, or subscribing, and if you can, support me on Patreon. You enjoy benefits like being credited at the end of the videos. I also have a Discord group in case you'd like to discuss Star Wars, games, or even share your own creative projects, because I'm happy to give any feedback. Thanks and take care everyone.